Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be a whole house cleaning video. So basically we'll just be going through the house room by room, getting everything clean and reset. I also have piles of laundry that I need to get caught up on. And I'll also be sharing a few recipes in this video. So just a lot of motivation and inspiration in today's video. I hope that you enjoy it and hopefully it can inspire you to clean your house and you can clean right along with me today. I'll try to share a few cleaning tips and inspiration as we go along. So before we get started, I'm just walking you through the house, showing you the mess. We had had a very busy week and didn't have much time for cleaning. We just kind of did what was necessary each day, like washing the dishes, loading the dishwasher, those types of things but the rest of the house did get a little bit out of hand. And also the laundry really piled up this week, so I do have a lot of laundry, and that is what I'm going to start with today when I have an entire day of cleaning like this and I have a lot of laundry, the first thing that I will do is get that first load of laundry started. That way, hopefully, by the end of the day, we can have all of the laundry clean, folded, and put away. I'm going to start the cleaning in my office and when I do a whole house cleaning like this, I always like to completely finish each room before moving on to the next room. Like I've said before, that will just give you the motivation to continue cleaning just to see that room completely clean and to just know that at least one room in the house is completely clean. I do not like to be running around the entire house cleaning everything at the same time, jumping from here to there. It just feels like you're getting nothing done. So it works out best for me to just work room by room. I'm going to mix up a homemade multi-surface cleaner to use today and this is very simple. It's just half white vinegar, half hot water, and then you'll add in 10 to 15 drops of essential oil. I chose lemon eucalyptus essential oil. It's actually very easy to mix up your own homemade DIY cleaners that are non-toxic and very affordable too. I want to eventually mix up cleaners for every surface in the house, my windows. For now, I'm still using up some window cleaners that I already have on hand but some good ingredients to keep on hand for homemade cleaners is baking soda, castel soap, white vinegar, lemon juice, borox, hydrogen peroxide. I've mentioned baking soda in a lot of videos, but you can use it in so many different areas of your home for cleaning, deodorizing, taking out stain. And I got non-scented castel soap recently and I want to try to use that to mop my floors. And then hydrogen peroxide is a safer alternative to bleach. You can use it as a natural whitener, cleaner, and disinfectant. So the office is now clean and that's a really good feeling to look at a room and see it completely clean, the floors vacuumed and everything. And that gives you that little motivation and little push to go and clean the next room. And the next room I'm going to clean is the dining room. There was a lot collected here on the table, the boys' school books and just a lot of different items that I needed to put away. We've loved the Dyson vacuum. I told my husband it's like the Cadillac of vacuums. Definitely worth the investment if you can find it on sale because it does go on sale multiple times a year. So keep an eye out for that and I have seen it on sale at Costco as well. So now the dining room is clean and we are going to move on to the living room. There was a load of laundry waiting for me here in the living room to fold and this laundry had been sitting in the dryer for two days, I think. I don't always get all of my laundry done in one day sometimes a load will sit in the washer overnight and I'll forget about it or they'll be clothes in the dryer for a couple of days or clothes just sitting in the living room or in the laundry basket for a couple of days or even a week sometimes that needs to be put away but most of the time we do try to get it done in one day Jalen and the boys will help me get it all folded and put away as the boys get older they can help out so much around the house which is really nice they can help put the laundry away empty the dishwasher sweep the floors they make their 
their beds and tidy up their room every day. They're just always such big helpers and I started them off when they were young, which I think is important to do when they're like two years old. They can help you put their toys away. They can even help you empty the dishwasher and do little things like that. And they usually think it's fun to help and it will take twice as long, but it is helping to establish that responsibility. I love it when you share comments below the video, love to read through those, and it's also a huge way that you can support my channel. Clicking that red subscribe button, clicking the thumbs up, and then also leaving a comment below the videos supports my channel in such a huge way and I really, really appreciate it. Down in the comments of this video, if you want to share any cleaning tips that you might have, or maybe you have some homemade cleaner recipes that you want to share, just anything like that is always really helpful to read through for everyone watching the video. So I'm getting the laundry swapped over to the dryer and then getting a new load started in the washer. And I do usually like to use dryer balls in the dryer. These are wool dryer balls. And then I'll just put a few drops of essential oil onto the wool dryer balls. So I will just put a link down below in the description box and that link will take you to all of my favorite cleaning products and I'll also try to list out a lot of the items that you see in this video. So the links to everything that I can link will be down below this video. So now it's time to do something that I have been needing to do for a long time and that is clean my espresso machine. Your espresso machine does come with I think two or three cleaning tabs but once you need to order more I would highly recommend getting this container of espresso cleaning tabs that I bought off of Amazon. You will just take one of these, put it in your porta filter, and then you'll hold down these three buttons for 10 seconds to start the cleaning cycle. And I've done this so many times but every time I still have to go and watch the video on the Breville YouTube channel to see how to exactly do this but I think after this time I finally have it down it is pretty easy but I do sometimes just forget some of the steps while I clean the kitchen I am starting lunch and I made cheeseburger bowls and it was a huge hit so stay tuned for that recipe here in a minute but I am unboxing my new candles that I just got in the mail and these are from Antique Candle Company one of my favorite candle companies and these are two of their Christmas scents I'm already getting excited for all things Christmas, the decorating, the recipes, and I think this spiced cranberry candle might be my new favorite Christmas candle scent. So for lunch today I am making cheeseburger bowls or you would call these Big Mac bowls and you have to have the special sauce. This sauce is one of our favorites, so delicious on cheeseburgers. These bowls were really simple to make and a great healthy alternative and also great for kids. It's not as messy as a cheeseburger. When you give a kid a cheeseburger it can just kind of fall apart sometimes especially for my toddler. So having it all in a bowl is really simple. It was just lettuce, the ground beef, shredded cheese, pickles, tomatoes. You you could do as many different toppings as you want and then we just topped it off with that special sauce. Stay tuned, I will be sharing one more recipe in this video towards the end and there is also a lot more cleaning to go. After I get done with the kitchen, I need to finish cleaning the coffee bar, clean the laundry room, that bathroom there in the laundry room, and then I need to head back and clean our bedroom and bathroom, Levi's room. So a lot of cleaning left, but I was making good progress and it was feeling good to see most of the main area of the house clean. I'm now going to carry our nugget ice machine over to the sink, that way I can drain all of the water out of this, get it cleaned. This nugget ice machine is from Jebby Household. I'll have it linked down below. I wanted to mention, let me know down below in the comments, what is your favorite type of content to see here on my channel or what content do you wish that I would post or post more of? Just let me know down below in the comments. 
I can't believe I'm already starting to think about my 2025 YouTube and Instagram content, but we are almost to the end of the year here, which is just crazy. I'm going to decorate for Christmas in a couple weeks. This year has just flown by. Let me know down in the comments, has this year flown by for you as well? I feel like this may have been one of the fastest years yet. I think maybe the older I get and the older my kids get, the quicker the years seem to fly by. So while I was cleaning inside today, the boys were cleaning outside. Jalen was working on weed whacking and mowing. Kyle was mowing and they were just cleaning up around the property, doing some work at the chicken barn. And usually when I have a cleaning day like this, the boys will spend most of the day playing outside, especially since the weather has been so nice lately. So that helps me to be able to get a lot done inside. And if they do come inside, they're usually just back playing in their room or they're off camera, behind the camera, coloring or doing Doing whatever. So I was just finishing up the cleaning there in the kitchen. I wanted to clean the stove top, clean the mirror over in the coffee bar area, vacuum the floor, and now the kitchen and the entire main area of the house is clean and we can move on to the laundry room. This bench in the laundry room kind of becomes a catch-all zone and it is nice to have a catch-all spot and it was time to go through all of this, put it all away and just get this laundry room clean. This mirror had also gotten really dirty because I took it down two different times to take it back to the hall bathroom and see if it would fit in that bathroom and then it sat on the floor for a little while so it did get pretty dirty. I wanted to do a little bit of dusting and then quickly clean this little bathroom. This is the bathroom that the two older boys use and so it can get dirty pretty quickly and it's also the bathroom right here at the back door so they're tracking in dirt and different things. The lighter white and gray tile probably wasn't a very smart choice for dusty southern Arizona especially when you have three little boys who love to go barefoot outside so that is one thing if I could go back and change I would. I do love this tile though it is very pretty but definitely a little bit hard to keep clean. So once that bathroom was clean, I vacuumed the bathroom floor and also the laundry room. And then I will swap out my last load in the washer and the dryer, get the last of the clothes hung out on the clothesline and also bring in all of my dry clothes. The laundry room and this bathroom is clean and this laundry room entryway area is usually a space that I try to keep picked up because this back door is the door that we are using every day. It's usually the door that our guests use when they stop by and this is also a very small room and so when we come home, walk through the door, it's nice to not be stepping over everything and to walk into a clean space. The next room to clean on that side of the house would have been the boys' bedroom but I didn't end up cleaning that today. I just had the boys clean their room that evening. I do need to go in there and kind of reset their room and reorganize everything, but I just didn't have time on this day. I'll have to do that a different day, but I usually like to go in there about every two weeks and just reset and reorganize their bedroom because that helps them to be able to keep it tidied up every day. I 
I'm now working on the other side of the house. And on this side of the house, we have our bedroom and bathroom, Levi's room, a spare bedroom, and then also the hall bathroom. So I started off by tidying up our bedroom, making our bed. I wanted to clean our mirror and also do a little bit of cleaning in our bathroom, nothing too major. Just quickly picking up everything and then wiping down the surfaces and vacuuming the floors. If you can't tell by my glass doors, sliding doors, and mirrors, we do have a two-year-old and so he's at the age where he likes to put his mouth and his hands on any glass or mirror surface that he can touch. And he actually will be three years old soon here in December. He doesn't let us forget it. He's constantly talking about his birthday coming soon. So crazy. How has it been three years already? I'm going to have to convert his crib into a toddler bed probably this winter. I might do a little refresh to his bedroom and make it feel more like a little boy bedroom instead of a nursery, which is kind of sad, but it will be fun to do that. And we always enjoy this stage between two and four is always such a fun age. So something I wanted to share before the end of this cleaning video was a new perspective I've been trying to have lately about all the things we have to do every day that never seem to end, like cleaning, laundry, cooking. You clean a room and by the next day, it's messy again. You wash the dishes and a few hours later, there's more dirty dishes. You make lunch and now, oh, I have to come up with something for supper and it's just a never ending cycle and it's exhausting sometimes for sure but I've tried to change that perspective in my head of, oh, I have to go do the laundry to I get to do our laundry today. And what does that big pile of laundry mean? That means I have a family living in this house and we were blessed with three little boys. And instead of I have to go make supper again, just switch that to I get to go make supper. We have food to eat. I have a family who loves my cooking. Just making those little switches in your head really changes your perspective and just trying to find the joy in the little things in life is key. And as they say, romanticize your life. Try to make cooking supper fun. I like to cook in a clean kitchen. Sometimes you can light a candle, turn on some music, make yourself a special drink for while you're cooking, but that's not every night, of course. Sometimes it's make supper in a hurry or leftovers for supper or cereal, but anyway, I just wanted to share a couple things that's been on my heart lately because some days everything that we have to do and the never-ending cycle is just a lot, and I know that you other moms can relate. Something that's also important is that we as moms take little moments for ourselves to just have some alone time. For me, that's hopping on my bike and going for a quick ride or going out for a run or walk before the kids wake up. In the evening after the kids go to bed, I will relax, watch a movie. I'll carve out a couple of minutes in the middle of the day to make myself a special coffee. Just be sure that you're doing those little things because you can't give from an empty cup. You need to fill your own cup. That way you can be a good homemaker. And I've really been trying to make that a priority the last year. And I've been trying to work out more and eat better and just take those little moments for myself. And I've seen such a huge difference. So I would highly recommend it. Here at the end of the day, I did hop on my bike and go and get the mail. It only took like two minutes, but I was able to go outside and get some fresh air and it just rejuvenated me after a long day of being inside and cleaning. And then that night I did also make my homemade granola bars. I will type up this recipe down below. It's delicious and our family's favorite. And then after supper and before the kids went to bed, we had a family clothes folding party and everybody helped me fold all the clothes and the boys helped us put it all away. And that was my day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration today. If you enjoy whole house cleaning videos, then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.